Hello, hello, hello. All praise and glory goes to Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. All praise and glory goes to Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. Praise and glory goes to Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. All praise and glory goes to Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. And holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Now, I feel led to read Philippines chapter 4 from the King James Version Only Bible. Just to let you know, I have a... To, this is the new King James Version of the Holy Bible, and I have another Bible that's the older version of the King James. This is the newer one. This is a smaller pocket Bible um, that you you know carry around, whereas the other one is a very big and uh, much larger book. Let's just say that much. Now, let's begin. Therefore, my beloved and longed for beloved brethren, my joy and crown, so stand fast in the Lord, beloved. Hallelujah. And the, and the title of this from verse 2 to verse 7 is, Be united, joyful, and in prayer. I implore e Eodona, and I implore Sain to, to be the same mind in the Lord. And I urge you also, true companion, help these women who labor with me in the gospel, with Clement also, and the rest of my fellow workers whose names are in the book of life. You definitely want your name in the book of life. If your name's not in the book of life, you're going to the place of gnashing and gashing of teeth, where there is no rest and there is no peace. You don't want to go there. So please accept Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior today. He died on the cross for your sins. He shares precious blood for you, and He loves you more than anything. And He's knocking at the door of your heart. Hallelujah. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I, I will say rejoice. Let your gladness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Meditate on these things from verse 8 to 9. Finally, brethren, Whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good, report if there if there is any virtue and if there is any pra anything anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. The the things which you learned and received and heard and saw in me, these do. And the God of peace will be with you. Hallelujah. The next one is Philippian um, generosity from verse 10 to verse 20. But now I rejoice in the Lord greatly. And now at last your care for me has flourished again. Though you surely did care, but you lacked opportunity. Now that I speak in regard to need. For I have learned in whatever state I am to be content. I know how to be abased. And I know how to abound everywhere and in all things. I have learned both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Nevertheless, you have done well that you shared in my distress. Now you Philippians know also that in the beginning of the gospel... When I departed from Macedonia, no church shared with me concerning giving and receiving but you only. For even in Thessalonica you sent aid once and, get I, and again for my necessities. Not that I seek the gift, but, but I seek the fruit that abounds in your account. Indeed, I have all and abound. I am full, having received from Ep, Pap, Roditis, Didis, sorry for the mispronunciations, I try. As it says here, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. The things which were sent from, from you, a sweet-smelling aroma, and an acceptable sacrifice, well-pleasing to God. And my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Now, to our God and Father, be glory forever and ever. Amen. And the last is great greeting and blessing, verses 21 through 23. Greet every saint in Christ Jesus. The brethren who are with me greet you. 
All the saints greet you, but especially those who are of Caesar's household. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All praise and glory to God. I hope you enjoyed listening to this and, and hope you take up leading, reading the God's Holy Word. And please, before you read God's Holy Word, always pray and ask for guidance, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, for the Holy Spirit is your teacher. And turn to Him for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. I'll be back as the Lord leads.